Unfortunately, data cleanup is a huge part of what we do when working with data. So I'm going to show you one of the most common things you can use for some data cleanup, um, especially for recoding values that are problematic. So, for example, in the deaths data that we have, where we have uh, information on people who died of opioid overdoses, we have a column called His Hispanic Ethnicity. It's actually spelled totally wrong, <laughs> the column name is. Um, but you can see that the um, the values in there are all over the road, some uppercase, some lowercase, uh, some saying non-Hispanic, some saying not Hispanic, um, is the computer, some with a dash, some without. So it's, it's, it's really all over the road and it's a big problem. So um, we, we need a way to fix those. Let's start with, a, this is a kind of a complicated example. Let's start with something simpler. One of the other things we have in here is we have a gender column. Right now it says F and M. What if you, for some reason, wanted it to say female or male, um, and maybe you wanted it to be in a, in a new column altogether? So that's where you can use the mutate um, verb from dplyr along with the case when statement. Case when is like an if statement in Excel. You basically, it'll basically say set this column to this if something is true set it to that if, if something else is true, and for everything else, do this. Um, and you can have as many statements within that case when as you want. So let's break this down a little bit. First of all, we're going to make, um, we're going to overwrite our data frame called deaths, and, and we have the assignment operator. We're going to pull from the data frame deaths, and because we're not selecting any columns here, it, the implied thing is that is going to transfer all the existing columns from deaths into the new deaths data frame. But it's also going, the mutate is going to add a new column that we're naming gender underscore new. And then we're populating that gender new column based on this case when statement. And the way case when works is that you feed it some criteria. Um, and that criteria could be almost anything. Um, in this case, we're saying the gender column equals F, and you have to have the equal equal in there. And you need to have it look exactly as it appears in the file. And then you put a tilde, and then you put the value in single quotes, the way you the new value that you want to put in the new column. In this case, it'll it'll go in gender new. And then you can um, do a comma and then do as many uh, other iterations as you want. If we, let's say we had gender equals other or something like that, or gender equals unknown or whatever, it would it would all be there. You can just keep going for however many you need to recode. In this case, we just have F and M, but then you can also put on this true statement, which means for everything else, anything that somehow did not fall into either one of these buckets where neither one of these things was true, then put the word unknown in the, the new column. I like to do this uh, especially if I am unsure that all the val if I have a huge number of values and the cleanup is really onerous, um, I could put some kind of word in there that'll help me find those ones that it didn't match up somehow that it had a problem with. So putting that on there is good. And then make sure you um, close you're gonna have two parentheses to close. One is for the case when and one is for the mutate. It looks like there shouldn't be two there, but you gotta you gotta count them back and get them to work. So now, if we look at um, we can look at deaths, um, and this is this count just allows me to see. It's just a really quick way to do a group by on a column and see what how many iterations of each value we have. There we go. We've got female and male. We didn't end up with any unknowns, so they all worked. So let's go back to that. Um, this one, the Hispanic ethnicity. So we've got a couple problems here. Um, one is the uppercase and lowercase, and one is the various iterations of non and not um, Hispanic. Um, so one of the easy things we could do is we could start by just making it all uppercase to, to get rid of some of those, those values. So um, here's where you, we can just use the, the mutate part, um, but we're going to and you can have it overwrite the existing column if you want. Um, and it will just, in this case, it's there's that existing column in my awful spelling of Hispanic. Um, 
this kind of helps you see that this is my same column. Um, we can use string to upper, which is uh, from the stringer uh, package. We probably need to load that package here first. Usually you, you, you might want to load things at the top of your page, but um, you can also load it here just in case you forgot it. String to upper is one of the verbs from stringer, which is a great little package for data cleanup. Um, so if we do this now, now if we look at that same column, whoa, a whole lot better. We still got the non, not, to not to deal with. So the other thing we can use is, uh, this might be a little hard to see, but here we're, we're going to do the case when. I'm going to actually have it put it in the same column. Oh, no, we're going to do a new column. That's right. Um, so we fixed the, the, we did the uppercase on the existing column, remember? Now we're going to make a new column called Hispanic New. And we can use Greppel, which is basically a wild card or regular expressions, if you're familiar with those, where basically it's going to look for any of these values that have the word not in it and um, in that column the badly named Hispanic ethnicity and it's going to call them not Hispanic and then it's going to look for any ones that have non and also call that not Hispanic um, and then for everything else it's going to transfer whatever is in this column into our new column so it's going to deal with the the anything with not or non and convert it to not not Hispanic with no dash. So it'll catch these ones with the dashes and it should fix them up. So let's let's check. Make sure it worked. Whoa, that looks so much better. <laughs>